hello and welcome to my channel if you're new here please consider subscribing and hello to all the new people and um, if you're sub if you are a subscriber thank you very much it all helps immensely but what am I up to today guys right so we're going to do the complete exhaust system on this ZX it's going to be quite a short video because there isn't really much to show you but I'll show you everything I can because actually in installing the exhaust to the back of the manifold whilst the engine is in is next to impossible to get the camera in there to see what's actually going on so I will have a look at possibly seeing if I can show you that but if not I have got an old manifold and an old bit of exhaust pipe to kind of just show you how it all bolts together anyway so um, it's possibly that I'll be showing you how it ex attaches to the exhaust manifold on my driveway rather than trying to get the camera right down behind the engine and show you me fitting it to the engine it's the same plate principle except it's a lot less awkward to get to and it's a much easier angle for the camera but anyway enough of me blabbering let's uh, carry on with what we're doing and um, get this exhaust installed shall we so we've got the tools there we've got all the um rubber grommets and uh, exhaust hangers there with the clamp a couple of spring bolts there um, we've got the exhaust back box the heat shield this is the part of the exhaust that goes to the manifold and then it goes all the way down the car and just to there like so but this is also what I meant by the fact I've got an old manifold off of a vehicle and I've got an old piece of exhaust pipe so that would just go to there like that and then you bolt through through the bolt holes so that's literally that would be up the side of the engine like so and then the uh, that end of the exhaust will go up the back underneath the car and attach to the manifold just like so and then we put the bolts through there with the springs on this side not the manifold side so you can actually do them up so that's how it will go together just in case I'm unable to show you down the back because down the back here as you can see it's um, not very whoops I, I pressed something on the camera so I don't know what so down the back here you'll be able to see that there's that's the inlet manifold there's pipes and all sorts and then also there's a big subframe in the way for viewing up from the bottom so it's probably going to be quite awkward for me to even do this job just because I just can't get in there with the camera so um, but the exhaust manifold is literally down there just about to see where my fingers point in and it is literally just like I say a mirror image of that except my exhaust doesn't have an EGR valve on it so it doesn't have that section but it's fine so we're going to crack on, we're going to get some of this done and we've got to find some nuts and bolts out and uh, I'll show you what I do along the way. Right, so I've now got the heat shield in um, and it's done up with four 10mm bolts. Now I say four 10mm bolts quite literally because it's only got three 10mm bolts in there and there is also some bolt holes up here and some slots for another heat shield to go in so I'm 100% certain that this car should have a second heat shield but in my ownership it's never had the second heat shield I'm not too worried because this is the one that go, the box at the centre box actually sits in um, and I'm also not too worried because if on the MOT the heat shields are there they need to be fitted securely if they're not there then I don't think it matters too much I'm not 100% sure on that but I know if they're not fitted securely it's an MOT fail so what I've done is I've got number three bolt, 10 mil bolt there. Number four was just a completely rounded stem where I couldn't get, with no thread on it whatsoever. So what I've done is I've bent that right over and that's pushing really hard up against there. That is not gonna go anywhere. So I've literally uh, whacked it flat round and um, that is now securely fitted. And there's no way that's gonna come off on its own. Let's put it that way. So um, that's the heat shield in. We now got to get um, the exhaust pushed up through that tunnel just there up to the exhaust manifold which actually in the distance you can just about see the exhaust manifold 
if I zoom right in just there so um, we're gonna get that bolted up there now and then um, we'll be able to then attach it back up and put it away to the end so guys as you can see on the back of the manifold we have got the all bolted up nicely both sides of the spring bolts are 10 mil uh, in size and that's probably the best view I'm going to be able to get for you there is this bolt on this side and there is also one on the other side as well um, that exhaust then goes down there to underneath the car the exhaust then comes out around here underneath here and the um, like I said the heat shields there the um, middle box is just there as well and that goes all the way down no clips on it no nothing until we get to the back box which I'll just move down and show you the back box now so again going from the middle box it comes all the way down here under the um, suspension swing arm uh, and um, basically it clips onto the back box there with uh, two 13mm nuts and a clamp we've then got an exhaust rubber holding them out there I did take the spare wheel carrier off to just give me a bit of extra space but it literally just unclips so it's easy enough to do that there's a um, exhaust rubber there and then also if I go around the other side of that there's an exhaust rubber hiding just up there as well so as you can see that has now got its exhaust on and that's all done so guys uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope you liked the video it was a little bit of a short one this time but um, there isn't much to really show you on an exhaust to be fair um, but anyway the next video that goes up will be me putting all the fluids in this and um, we'll be getting a sort of ready to be uh, turned over for the first time so that will be in the next video where we do a full service and um, show you where we're going to put how to put all the oils and stuff in and so basically just a service video next time so yeah um anyway enough of me yabbering i will say bye for now just before i do go there'll be another one of my amazing videos up in the top corner here and my subscribe icon will be down in this bottom corner just here please consider subscribing as you'll get all my all my notifications take care guys bye for now